Concealing unsightly spaces, ground cover plants alleviate a variety of issues. They're great for preventing soil erosion, keeping water levels stable, and creating a haven for pollinators like bees and butterflies. When grass isn't an option, low-growing plants can be a better and more aesthetically pleasing substitute. You can pick from an abundance of alternatives. Number one, creeping thyme. Creeping thyme is a great place for pollinators since its low-growing mats are covered with tiny purple or white blooms in late spring. Once established, this hardy perennial can survive in poor soil, lack of water, and low temperatures, and it grows quickly in full light. Also, the leaves can be harvested and used in culinary applications. This plant can survive in zones 5 to 10. Number 2. Creeping Juniper Several different sizes and shapes of this evergreen can be found. Once it's established, it can withstand everything, including poor soil and drought. Creeping junipers create a dense mat that prevents weed growth thanks to their horizontally spreading branches. It does well in bright light. The hardiness zone range for the creeping juniper is from 3 to 9. Number 3. Dead Nettle Lamium, or dead nettle, is a short-lived perennial that blooms in various shades of purple, pink, and white during the spring and early summer. Its leaves are silvery and the stems are often branched. It thrives in partially shaded areas but can handle full light. Dead nettles can survive and thrive in USDA hardiness zones 4 through 10. Number 4. Ajuga. This low-growing perennial has glossy leaves in colors of deep green, bronze, and chocolate brown, making it a fantastic alternative to grass in virtually any environment. Little flower spikes in shades of blue, purple, pink, and white occur during the summer. The fast-growing ajuga may thrive in either full sun or partial shade. You can plant it from zone 3 to 10. Number 5. Aronia. Aronia is a lovely native shrub that grows slowly and has dainty white flowers and glossy green leaves. It forms a dense hedge when planted in groups and does well in full sun and a wide range of soil conditions. All the way from zone 3 to 8, Aronia is a strong performer. Number 6. Epimedium. This perennial blooms in the early spring with delicate flowers reminiscent of fairy wings. Once established, Epimedium, commonly known as Bishop's Cap, may survive in dry areas. It is frost resistant and may grow in partial shade. Growing Epimediums is possible in USDA plant hardiness zones 5 through 8. Number 7. Dianthus. The dianthus is an antique perennial that smells like vanilla. This beautiful ground cover grows from the ground up to a height of two feet, and it is sometimes referred to as pinks since the petals resemble those clipped with pinking shears. Best results will be achieved in full sun. They are hardy enough to live in climate zones three through nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.